So now into the next lesson um, of module seven, and this is lesson 7.4. And now uh, we are writing and solving uh, multi-step equations. Uh, learning target, uh, I can write and solve multi-step linear equations uh, with rational coefficients by using the distributive property and combining like terms, okay? So um, I've got two equations written up over here. Uh, there we go, better view. All right, so we've got two equations written on the board and we are going to see that some equations, uh, they contain expressions with grouping symbols on one or both sides of the equal sign, okay? So uh, to solve equations like this, uh, we are going to first expand the expressions that contain grouping symbols, grouping symbols, okay? And uh, then we are going to solve the equation combining any like terms and using the properties of equality. So uh, if you are looking at this one, um, you've written out the equation and then we are going to expand the expression using the distributive property. So uh, if you remember the distributive property, it basically is um, where we are taking the term outside the parentheses if there's multiplication, and we are multiplying it with each term uh, inside the parentheses, okay? So uh, as I can see, if I'm doing distributive property, this is what I need to be solving first. So uh, we're going to do negative 5 times 2x plus negative 5 times 3, okay? On this side of the equation, on this side of the equation, I'm going to do 4 times x plus 4 times 11. So that's basically what the distributive property is, okay? So in the first one, a negative times positive is going to give me a negative product. So negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, and then the x, negative 10x, all right? And then I have negative 5 uh, times positive 3. So again, opposite signs, I'm going to get a negative product. So uh, 5 times 3 is 15, and because it's negative times positive, I'm going to get minus 15, all right? And then I have minus x. And this is equal to 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 11, all positive. So we're going to get a positive product, um, is 44 plus 1. Okay, so this is the first part where we expanded the expression using the distributive property. So next what I'm going to do is I am going to combine the like terms. Okay, so if I look over here, what are my like terms? I have negative 10x and I have another negative x. So that means whenever there is no coefficient written, that means there is one of that variable. So I have negative 10x at the opposite plus negative x. That gives me negative 11x on this side, okay? So negative 11x minus 15 is equal to what are the like terms on the other side? I have, there's no other uh, number with the variable x attached on this side. So this is on its own. And then I have 44 plus 1. These are like terms. So I can add them, which I get 44 plus 1 is 45. Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do now, I am going to uh, use the addition property of equality uh, because what am I trying to do? I am trying to remove the negative in front of the variable. And this is already plus. So if I... Uh, use the addition property of equality, I am going to add 11x to both sides of the equation. So plus 11x, whatever I do on one side of the equation, I do exactly the same thing on the other side of the equation. So this is plus 11x. And then if I do this, 11 minus 11 is zero. So I am left with negative 15 is equal to 4 plus 
11 gives me 15x plus 45. Okay, so next I am going to, um, so this is after simplifying, then I am going to use, uh, I can see that my numbers are here, so I am going to use opposite of plus 5 is what? Minus 45, the inverse operation. So I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality. Whatever I do on one side of the equation, I do the same thing on the other. 45 minus 45 is 0. So now I'm left with 15x is equal to. Now we can see that both the signs are the same. So when both the signs are the same, I am adding them. So I get a 0 and carry over. So 60 and the sign is negative. Okay, so negative 60. And then after that, uh, I am going to see that this is a one-step equation now, okay? And so I am going to use now, because 15 times x and the inverse of that is what? Inverse of um, multiplication is division. So I'm going to use the division property of equality, and I'm going to divide both sides by 15. And 15 divided by 15 gives me 1. And 1 times x gives me x. And now if I look at negative 60 divided by 15, I know that I have a negative divided by a positive. So opposite signs, my quotient is going to be negative. And 60 divided by 15 gives me 4. So x is equal to negative 4. And of course, to check the solution, uh, we would substitute the values over here. X is negative 4, so 2 times negative 4. And then I would do that minus negative 4, uh, you know, times negative 4. Uh, and so ultimately, I, I will end up with exactly the same answer. Um, on both sides, it's going to be a balance. Okay, to check the work, always substitute the value. And we'll do that um, in, another, in the second problem in a minute. Okay, so uh, let's do uh, this question now. Uh, three, um, now again, this is within parentheses. This means I have to multiply this term with each term inside. So we are again going to use the distributive property. And I'm going to do three times eight X plus three times 12. And then on this side, I'm going to do two times three minus, uh, uh, you know, two times negative three X. Okay, so 3 times 8, uh, I get uh, 24x plus 3 times 12, I get 36 minus 15x is equal to, um, I have over here 2 times 3, which is 6, and then positive times negative is going to give me minus, and here and 2 times 3 this is 6x okay so now uh, once I have done this much I am going to combine the like terms so I can look at 24x and minus 15x because these are the like terms so um, 24 minus 15 and I'm going to get 9x plus 36 is equal to 6 minus 6x Okay, so um, then after that, I am going to use the addition property of equality because I am trying to get rid of the minus in front of the variable. So, and I'm going to combine the like terms. So, plus 6x using addition property of equality. Whatever I do on one side, I do exactly the same thing on the other side. So, plus 6x over here. And 6 minus 6 is 0. And then I am left uh, with 6 is equal to, and I have 9 plus 6 over here, which is going to give me 15x plus 36. All right. Now, next I am going to see, I have to remove this because this is a two-step equation over here. And so, uh, subtraction property of equality because that is the opposite of plus 36. The inverse operation is minus 36. 
So minus 36, whatever I do, do on this side, same thing here. And I get over here zero. And I get 15x is equal to, now look, they are opposite signs. So I am going to subtract and uh, the absolute value. So that is 36 minus 6 gives me 30. And the sign in front of the bigger number, negative. So negative 30. Okay, and then next we are going to go ahead and since this is multiplication, I am going to use the division property of equality. I'm going to divide both sides by 15. And 15 divided by 15 is 1. And so 1 times x is x. And then I have negative divided by positive, which gives me a negative quotient. So that is going to be negative. And 30 divided by 15 is 2. So x is equal to negative 2, and that is the solution. And so let's quickly check the solution uh, to make sure that we are on the right track and we've got the correct answer. So uh, all I do again, and we've talked about checking solutions, is we write the original equation. So we are checking now to make sure that everything is correct. So I have 3, 8, x plus 12 minus 15x is equal to 2, 3 minus 3x. Okay, so I have uh, this written out now, the same equation. And now I have found that my x is equal to negative 2. So I am going to go ahead and do that. So this is 3 times 8 times negative 2 on this part because x is what? Negative 2, all right? Um, plus 12 minus 15 times negative 2, okay? Um, is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3 times negative 2. Okay, so I've written all that out. And so uh, what is, uh, so then, then the next thing I do is, okay, um, I have over here uh, 3, and this is a positive times negative. I am going to get negative. So this is negative 16 plus 12 minus, 15, uh, this is going to be, I have negative 15, uh, I have minus 15 times negative 2, so I get, my, this is, you know, going to be negative 30, 15 times negative 2, because minus this number, I'm just going to write it like this so you can see what I'm doing, all right? So this is negative 30 is equal to, all right? Um, and I have, over here, I have 2 times 3, Okay, so 2 times 3, and then I have uh, minus uh, 3 times negative 2, which gives me, um, what is this going to be? So 3 minus here, this part, okay? So that gives me negative 6, 3 minus negative 6, okay? And now, uh, once I have this, I'm just going to uh, do the simplifying. And if I do three times, uh, so you know, I can also do the opposite over here. I can do three times this, or I can do three times this, or I can just do the opposite, uh, meaning like I am doing the adding and subtracting over here inside also. If I don't want to use a distributive property, since I have what each of this is equal to, uh, since this is the opposite sign, um, this is going to be 3. And what is 16 minus 12? I get 4, right? So, th And then because the sign in front of this one is bigger, it's going to be this, right? I'm just showing you step by step. And uh, then over here, I have minus negative 30. And if it's minus negative 30, what does that become? Uh, add the opposite, so this becomes plus 30, right, is equal to, then again over here, it is 
uh, two times three, which is what? It is going to be uh, six, all right? And then minus negative, that becomes your uh, plus, right? Because uh, minus minus next to each other, so that is actually plus. So two times six is going to give me what? It is going to give me 12, okay? Um, I could have also done 3 minus negative 6, and that would have actually uh, just given me this. If I was just doing it that way, I can also show you. Uh, this could also be 2 times 3 minus negative. That means 3 plus 6, which is going to give me 9. So I can write it like this also. I'm just showing you both methods. Okay? So now we have 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12 plus 30 is equal to 18, okay? And then uh, if I have 30 minus 12, because these are opposite signs, I get 18 is equal to 18. So the, both sides are exactly the same. And that means that the solution is correct. So we are just supplementing uh, those values or substituting those values that I'm given uh, in order to check my work, okay? All right, so uh, let's go ahead to uh, another problem, solving multi-step equations. Um, okay. So uh, let's say I have a question, uh, 3 tenth, 10 minus 5x, 3 tenth, 10 minus 5x, Okay, so that's 3, 10, 10 minus 5x is equal to 31 and 5 tenth. Okay, 31 and 5 tenth uh, minus 8x plus 9. All right, so now uh, we've written out the equation um, and we are going to use the distributive property, okay? Um, in this part. Okay? Now, um, do I use the distributive property here? No. Uh, because there is nothing in the front that I am multiplying. So that is for that uh, side only. When I have a number written outside the parentheses, that means I have to multiply it with each term inside the parentheses. Okay? So 3 tenth times 10, obviously just move the decimal one place, okay? So that's going to give me 3, okay? And then if I do 3 tenth uh, times 5, I'm going to get 1 and 5 tenth. But since this is minus positive times negative, I have minus 1 and 5 tenth x. And then this is equal to... 31 and 5 10th. And now what am I doing? I am going to rewrite using the additive inverse. So uh, basically that means what? The additive. Add the opposite. Here. Add the opposite. Okay. So after that I am going to combine the like terms. And so in this case, uh, we have no like terms. We have 3 minus 1 and 5 tenth x is equal to what are the like terms here? I have 31 and 5 tenth and I have minus 9. Okay, so 31 and 5 tenth minus 9 is going to give me 22 and 5 tenth minus 8x, minus 8x, okay? So 31 and 5 tenth minus 9 because those numbers are um, like terms that I can add or subtract. So I get 22 and 5 tenth and then minus 8x because I can just squish the variable together with the number. Those are different terms, okay? Now, next I am going to uh, do the addition property. Uh, well, I can uh, do a couple of things. Uh, let me go ahead and bring this to this side because both the numbers are like terms. So if I have 3 
uh, what is uh, the uh, you know opposite of three? It is minus three. So I am going to use the subtraction property of equality minus three minus three. Remember to please align the place values so we are not making a mistake in our decimal and whole number calculations. So three minus three is zero, and I have negative one and five tenth x is equal to and i am going to get uh, over here 19 and 5 tenth minus 8x okay and then the next thing i'm going to do is what is the opposite of subtraction it is the addition property of equality i'm trying to combine all the like terms so if i add here i've got to add over here also okay Sorry, this is 8x. All right, so this is just 8x. All right, so 8 minus 8 is 0. Okay, and then I have uh, over here, I have 19 and 5 tenths left is equal to opposite sign. So I'm going to subtract, um, you know, 1 and 5 tenths from 8. So 8 minus 1 and 5 tenth, and so I get 6 and 5 tenth x. And then now uh, it's a one-step equation. So I am going to, uh, you know, do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6 and 5 tenths. So using the division property of equality, and I get... Um, 6 and 5 tenth divided by 6 and 5 tenth is 1. 1 times x is x is equal to 19 and 5 tenth divided by 6 and 5 tenth is going to give me 3. Okay? And so there is my solution to this equation. So please remember uh, to check your solution. Replace x with 3 in the original equation. All right, so we would do five times, uh, negative five times three, and I would do eight times three. Um, and then in the end, you will see that I will end up with exactly the same answer when I am substituting the values, and then I am solving those numbers. Okay, uh, let's do one last problem. All right, so here's another question. Uh, solve one half six x minus four. Okay, uh, plus six x is equal to uh, negative twelve, and then I have one sixth x plus Two. Okay, so if I have this. So again, uh, once we write out the equation, uh, I am going to use the distributive property in order to solve this. And then this is like saying uh, one half times, see look, this times this and this times this. So let me just take the numerical part to calculate first. And I know 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6, right? So 1 half times 6, or basically what am I doing? 6 divided by 2, which gives me 3x on this part, okay? And then if I take uh, 1 half times 4, look, 1 and 2, and the sign, because they're opposite signs, is going to be minus, that basically 4 divided by 2, so this gives me minus 2 for this part, all right? Plus I have 6x is equal to, same thing, 12 times 1, 6. That means uh, negative 12, uh, you know, divided by 6. That is going to give me your negative 2. So again, distributive property, okay? So that's going to give me negative 2x, right? And then... Minus, because negative times positive, negative 
24. So minus 24 and that's what I'm going to be getting with the distributive property. Then I am going to combine the like terms. So I have 3x and I have 6x. That gives me 9x minus 2 is equal to negative 2x minus 24. Okay, so next I am going to look at, okay, uh, this is a negative, a negative 2x. So let me use the addition property of equality and I am going to add 2x to both sides of the equality of the equation. And 2 minus 2x, uh, 2x minus 2x gives me 0. I'm left with negative 24 over here is equal to 9 plus 2, which is 11x minus 2. Okay, so 11x minus 2 uh, is equal to negative 24. And then I'm going to use the addition property of equality and I am going to add 2 because look, I am combining the like terms and the numbers together are like terms. And so then 2 minus 2, this is 0. And then I'm left with 11x is equal to, now opposite sign, so we subtract the absolute values. 24 minus 2 is 22, sign in front of the bigger number is negative. The next step is we are looking at 11x is equal to negative 2. Uh, so we are going to use the opposite of multiplication, which is the division property of equality. I'm going to divide both sides by 11 okay and i get one over here one times x is x is equal to negative divided by positive is going to give me a negative quotient and 22 divided by 11 is 2. so negative 2 is my solution to this equation and of course uh you know i will have to definitely uh you know i can check my work by substituting the value of negative 2 into each equation and making sure that both sides are balanced uh, once I have solved it and that will be a solution to that equation, all right? And so a lot of real world problems uh, when we have word problems, etc., cetera, uh, they can be written out as equations in this format, uh, you know, using these multi-step equations, uh, you know, for example, Four friends bought zoo tickets, spent $9.50 each on wristbands for the zoo rides. And in the same day, a group of five different friends bought zoo tickets, spent $3 each on the Stingray exhibit. Um, the group of five friends also rented a locker for $8. So if both groups spend the same amount, how much did each person pay for a zoo ticket? So when we are having, you know, all these are all real world situations and you know uh, for example i could just do four times t plus 950 is equal to eight plus five t plus three etc i'm just giving you an example um you know that we actually use these real real world experiences uh, because you're like how am i going to use this in the real world it's used every single day and you are writing out an equation in order to calculate that missing value which is the variable and so the this is like how you solve multi-step equations. Uh, just use distributive property uh, in situations like this uh, when we have, uh, you know, the different groupings. And then, of course, we are using the properties of equality to solve these equations. Okay, so have a fabulous day, y'all.